seems unsettled souls due to the popularity of this fictional character, we at The Correct Views have decided as a team to have Buddy Puff do this 420 show. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Puff, you're on. <laughs> no, I'm not on anything, man. It's the government <laughs> story. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I thought I was testing the, the new mic. You are testing the mic. Oh, oh, the show, yeah. Hey, welcome to the correct views. Uh, uh, everyone says that they like the last show that I did on uh, April Fool's Day. Uh, April 1st, I forget when that was for sure, but you're going to want to check it out. I uh, wonder if the mic is working. Is there like a, a signal is, Something I'm supposed to be looking for, cause it doesn't look like it's working live. Like it does. It should be working. <laughs> like not. I bet you it's this one. Hello. Oh, oh, hey. Now it's working. That means if you're like low def, you're gonna have to go to the high def to hear like the beginning of the show. But. Listen to this here at 420, man. I've already messed things up. <laughs> Anthony Gucciardi, InfoWars. Go federal government admits marijuana kills brain tumors, <laughs> but you still can't buy it. <laughs> it's like... It's like... I think you almost had set your hair on fire, buddy. <laughs> it's all right. Sam will kill me if I burn the mic. The federal government admits in newly funded research <coughs> the compounds found in marijuana have an unprecedented ability to go and kill brain tumors without any negative side effects at all, Christelle. So, like, if you're going to go to jail, just, to, like, not to get a brain tumor. It's just they got compounds in it. I think, I think they're giving people, like, lasers, man. I, you don't think they should be putting compounds in the weed. Uh, let's be clear here, it says we're not talking about prosecution of those who just want to get high. In fact, as I've explained before, it says, that, well, I, I didn't, but like the article says, the truth health effects of marijuana really don't come from its infamous psychoactive effect. Instead, it's the non-THC, you know, the stuff that isn't any fun. Uh, it's the non-get-you-high compounds within the weed uh, that are anti-causing and have antioxidant effect. It says the worst part is that even marijuana without THC is still illegal. Like, <laughs> so you forget any weed without THC in a way. I think I could sell you some. Despite having zero effects, but then again, this new study on anti-tumor activity even focuses on extracts so what they're saying, I think, is that the things in the weed that stop you from getting the brain tumor ain't even the stuff that gets you high. So if you grow weed that doesn't get you high, it sounds like a blight. But if you do, you still can't save your own life with it. You know, there's like a lot of words here. I don't want to read all these words. Well, you've got it, to read all the words, buddy. Oh, what is Sam? In a report issued by the U.S. government-funded research group, I guess I'm going to have to get to it later. A, a task with the studying drug abuse and addiction. Researchers are admitting that marijuana is useful in killing off specific types of brain tumors. The report, coming from a government-backed group with the annual budget of over a hundred billion, they where you could spend a hundred billion dollars on weed, <laughs> it arrives at an awkward time for the administration following the announcement by the Department of Justice this week that it will continue to prosecute medical marijuana cases against individuals in defense of in defiance of Congress. What a bummer. Like, why would they do that? A quick search within PubMed is like a blue line. Oh, it's a link. Now, it's a National Library of Medicine database for marijuana turns up a host of studies highlighting every aspect imaginable regarding the plant in its many forms. Some advocacy websites, there's more blue letters, 
have been compiled a list of studies in an easy to read format surrounding marijuana. I wish this had been in an easy to read format. And it was led by numerous journalists who ask the obvious question, why are we spending so much time researching an illegal drug for its numerous benefits while stamping side effect riddled drugs for the FDA stamp of approval with less research? <laughs> they ain't studied the legal stuff much. The truth, marijuana is backed by more clinical research than most pharmaceutical drugs. And like they're f it's a big pharma drugs. I think that means... That it's like they're farming the, the drugs. I, I, I don't think that's what they mean. Well, they spelled it wrong, though. They wrote PH. Um. When considering what the average drug label contains more than 70 side effects and have not been thoroughly studied for long-term effects in many cases. Hey, that reminds me of, like, Risperidol giving you, like, man tits and stuff. That's what Sam meant by getting off subject, didn't it? Yes. But he did, though. It gave him, like, big man um, boobies. Continue to read. <laughs> I'm sorry. It says, They have been thoroughly studied for long-term effects in many cases. It's easy to see the scientific oddity that exists around the use of non-THC-containing hemp. <laughs> I don't want it. Many popular pharmaceuticals, there's that word again, have been found to contain 100 to 125 side effects. Some farm drugs come with 525 negative reactions. Well, I'll tell you what, a buddy Puff here uh, giving you some commentary. One of the side effects if you buy non-THC weed is that you're not going to get high. That's one side effect. As the realization within the United States comes into f focus, Oh, surrounding the practical and health-related uses of marijuana, especially the non-high, non-THC form that only serves to enhance one's health and state, it's becoming more clear than ever that a serious role exists for hemp within the U.S. and, like, beyond in, like, other countries and stuff. And it says that this was from Natural Society. And uh, that's, like, your 420 update. Uh, buddy, you're... You're forgetting something. Oh, yeah. The Correct Views is brought to you by Change Transportation. That's not... No. They are. That's not the... Oh, oh, yeah. These, yeah. <laughs> the sticker jokey. Uh, if you want to get stickers, like Passing Time stickers, go to YouTube.com slash Passing Time Band. And, like, they got, like, stickers and stuff. <laughs> Made by Sticker Junkie. I mean, I guess the uh, Cristal am I like free to get back and try and get some? Oh, you know what? It's messing up the whole. But. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bye.